friends here we are discussing about basic concepts of rest api see the basic concepts of rest apis are like base url endpoints resource and http or https verbs or methods or operations see before going to work with existing rest apis or if you want to implement new rest apis you have to know these basic concepts now first let me go with the base url and endpoints now to understand about these two concepts i am taking a dummy website and from that i am considering some dummy rest apis so simply open your web browser and here just search for dummy rest apis and you are getting different urls for dummy rest apis just open the first one dummy.restapiexamples.com and here just assume that this is one of the web application and for this web application just they are giving some rest apis you don't worry about this rest apis they already implemented they are providing directly to us to use them right so as of now don't worry how to implement them just try to use the existing rest apis now i already copied all these five rest apis so these all are rest apis available for that website right and if you observe all rest apis there is a common part that is up to slash v1 and this common part is called base url see if there is a website and for that website if there are some rest apis for all rest apis there is a common point there is a common part for all rest apis that common part is called base url and after the common part the remaining values are called endpoints if you observe above five rest apis the endpoints are like this right so finally rest api url is nothing but base url plus endpoint that is the important point rest api url is base url plus endpoint that's fine now let me go with the resource and http verbs or methods or operations and before going to understand about these two concepts just assume that you are running a website to maintain your employees information and here either employee or employees information is called data now resource is simply a data in web application it may be about employees information or simply one employee information so either employee or employees information is nothing but a data or resource and endpoints are used to make a request to get your employee or employees information or to create new employee information or to modify your existing employee information so for that purpose we are using endpoints so we have to execute different methods from http on endpoint based on requirement i mean suppose if you want to get existing employee or employees information then you have to execute get method from http on endpoint suppose if you want to create a new employee information in your website then you have to execute post method on your endpoint with the help of http and if you want to update existing employee information then you have to ex execute put method on your endpoint with the help of http and if you want to delete employee information then you have to use delete method from your http on your endpoint right see all these methods get post put and delete are called simply http verbs or https verbs verbs are methods or operations so these four all the basic methods for your http or https we are having some more methods we'll discuss them while going forward and finally you have to remember one more important point all rest apis response is in the form of csv or json and rarely in the text format but most of the cases the response is in the form of csv or json maximum in the form of json right you have to remember this point so why we are telling this point means suppose if you are going to execute your rest api based on your requirement maybe uh, get or post or put or delete you have to send your data in the form of json or csv or in the form of i mean if you want to receive your data you will get mostly in the form of json okay guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe my channel and give your thumbs up if you like this video and also share with your friends
Okay, bye.